So let's see what's coming your way. And by the way, I do not read reversals with this deck. And we do have new beginnings and moving on. So I believe um, Aquarius, we might have a message here. We know Major Arcana are all about pieces of advice. And I'm sensing that um, and kind of the universe is asking you to trust this one and uh, try to emotionally disconnect um, from a situation that might keep you, um, you know, prisoner uh, of your own mind, of your own emotional world in a situation that is no longer there. And you do have trust and you have instinct. You have listen and trust, right? Both major arcana. Listen to your intuition and trust this new beginning. It's a beautiful combination of foolishness of a child in a sense that, you know, that's okay. We go to the next, um, you know, chapter of our lives. Uh, but it's paired with the energy of wisdom, you know, with the, with the energy reminding you that now you know better, now you know more, now you have more insight, right? You have more experience, you know what to expect, you know? And uh, a sense of um, the only way is up because it's a zero, the full, right? And we have nurturing new beginnings. We do have the Empress, three, number three, multiplication, abundance, creativity. For some of you, it's going back to the mother of your children, the father of your children, for you, it's going back to a very significant person in your life, nurturing a new beginning of some sort, Ace of Cups with the Fool. I love this, Aquarius, for you. I love this. Now let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. At this time, and again, it's last week of July, but we know how time is fluid. So we do have dedicated effort we have believe and succeed and we have the flow i simply adore this energy for you um aquarius because it is co-constructing with the universe you do have the energy of some is in your power like the eight of uh, pentacles this is your effort and this is six of wands if you believe you succeed right if you believe and if you work you succeed and then the universe is saying with the will of fortune, well, but that is also the universe and the creator, your creator, your universe, right? Um, having a hand in it. And um, you are guided when it's time to go with the flow. And I know this is probably the most difficult homework, right? When the universe um, says, follow my pace, right? Uh, we need to hear it and see it. And when it's time for us to create and make the effort, uh, well, we have to see it and hear it. So um, I'm just saying, right? It's a, it's a tough homework, but you can do it. You have a brilliant mind, Aquarius. You have a brilliant mind. So, um, so let's see the um, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual, and let's have the possible outcome. For you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Bottom of the deck, we see the Empress again. I love the abundance and the creativity, and I love the nurturing after a tower moment, right? Five of Swords and the Tower. It was a hell of a fight, a hell of a disruption, and we are now rebuilding with love and confidence because it's believe and succeed and work. I mean, that's the uh, the magic res recipe of, of a successful life, right? We believe, we succeed, we work, and then we also align with the universe. It's the most amazing. Um, right here, the overall energy, it's one of the most amazing, the basics of life, actually, right? Is effort, confidence, going with the flow and aligning with the universe and the nurturing energy the abundance the most abundant energy comes from work believing in it passion and alignment with the universe it's simply amazing i wish i'd be an aquarius today <laughs> no i'm just saying um so aquarius in the past uh what do we have we do have the six of pentacles and the six of cups and this is six right the number for harmony um but a lot of love a lot of uh, memories of love, a lot of awareness of a soulmate connection, a lot of balance, a sense of fairness, a sense of justice, a sense of I'm in a good place, I give and I receive, right? 
um, again, a sense of abundant energy, but uh, probably more in terms of understanding with, you know, the, the level of vibration with this person and the um, emotional life and the love and the connection that you had with this person. Now, Aquarius, this person of yours in the past, they felt alone and um, will of fortune, right? Um, honestly, it feels like depression. It feels like somebody, no matter the environment, no matter where we put them, right? They might have felt lonely and um, kind of, um, you know how it feels? It, likes, uh, it feels like living from today to the next, right? From one day to the next. So maybe not a lot of planning and a lot of um, somehow, I don't, it's not introspection, but it's loneliness and, and um, um, isolation, I would say. And um, really going with the flow, but not in a sense of going with the flow, but going without a plan. Um, and whatever was coming, you know, um, they were anyways sad and lonely or feeling sad about it and, and feeling lonely and, I, and unwilling probably to deal with. That is a lot of energies of, I don't want to say disappointment, it's not the, it's not the right word, disappointment, but it's, <clears throat> it's the energy of somebody um, not expecting anything, right? And abandoning everything, including their own uh, plans and ideals. Um, this is how it feels. While well, mutual energies between the two of you, of course, Aquarius, a lot of joy and stability that you brought to this connection and for you, it was important. Uh, for some of you, you might have been married to this person, Aquarius, and uh, you brought to this connection a sense of stability. Four of Wands with the Six of Pentacles, a world of, of stability and intention of passion and, um, and groundiness to it and focusing on what's important. While this person of yours um, came with this energy of finding balance, two of pentacles, right? Trying to find the best equilibrium in their life because they were, um, it, it looks like spinning out of control. The wheel of fortune is up and down, up and down. And the five of pentacles, the energy of being unable to do something about, right? Is the energy of abandoning themselves in an energy of change without really taking some form of control. But that is an, that was an awareness of, um, I have to find balance, right? So they came to this connection with this energy of, I'm looking for balance, so maybe Aquarius might bring me the balance um, that I need in a sense of walking the earth, right? With my two feet, because it's quite spinning out of control um, the way I'm, I'm picking up this. So Aquarius, where are we right now? Of course, we are questioning, and I'm sure you know that. You say, of course, I'm confused. We do have the Seven of Cups. We are a little bit confused and blindfolded. Two of Swords. The universe is saying you refuse to see something. You are not allowing yourself to see the evidence in, in front of you. You know what this connection is. You know what this person is. You know the giving and receiving happening between the, the two of you or no longer happening. You know who's out of control and needs balance. It's just you are refusing to see and you kind of keep yourself in a state of confusion here. But for some of you, it's actually this person not being clear to you. It's a world of confusion right here. Aquarius, Seven of Cups with the Two of Swords. Um, confused and blindfolded, bound to a situation, trying to make decisions but not having the full picture. So... Um, of course, for some of you can have options, but by the energies paired together, it's more of a confirmation that, yeah, we don't see the full extent and maybe that's, this is what is preventing us from moving forward. Now, this person of yours, Aquarius, they have the Three of Swords and the Six of Wands. Um, probably you have successes in your life and this person is hurt by. They are in the Three of Swords, sadness and isolation combined with the Five of Pentacles. It's a world of depression can be a world of anxiety, can be a world of isolation. It's the energy of feeling in a corner and the more they find out that you're successful or you move on or uh, it's even worse for them, right? Um, it's, it's a tremendous amount of pain actually um, in so many ways and it, um, it's kind of directly proportional with the level of success that you show. Um, they might start to have a, a fire in their belly. Six of Wands is the energy of I have to fight 
um, you know, for my future to co to come out of this um, period in time, to have some positive changes in some way. That is a sense of fighting with the Six of Wands. But still, right? It's not... Um, I would say that is a lot of disappointment here and a lot of um, suffering, Aquarius. Mutual energies between the two of you. We have the energy of one uh, just breathing. Again, a sense of taking control of the anxiety, isolation, um, healing the mind and, and doing some work, some internal work while the other person is, um, you know, working towards clarity of belief. Can be new beginnings for some of you. Um, can be a, a, an understanding that we need a plan. We hit rock bottom. Uh, you in terms of confusion and where this life can go and this person in terms of emotions. Um, again, this energy of spiraling down, uh, right? And it um, spinning out of control. That's energy that I'm picking up, but they are aware. They are aware. Um, and on your side, you, it's uh, frustrating, right? They of sort is like, I'm going to cut the BS. I'm done being confused. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done about this. And, and let me have a clear head. Um, by the way, Four of Swords, um, Ace of Swords, it's a Five of Swords. So we keep fighting, uh, both of you, for two different goals. But it's um, it's beautiful, right? It comes with an awareness that that is a time when confusion, you know. At the beginning, we might say, well, it's circumstances. But then when we keep being in confusion, sometimes it can become a responsibility to, you know, kind of um, cut the... Uh, the confusion off and I'm, I'm I'm picking up Aquarius that you take the sword is your energy you come back to yourself you come back to your energy and I'm sure you are pretty much there um, Aquarius self okay you know let me finish this and I love what is coming your way we do have the judgment and the justice for some of you of course is divorce and pieces of paper going to court having the final decision that will finally bring some rewards some karma some compensation some balance some blossoming because one chapter is closed and we can start one new for some of you it's all about peace of mind and the universe giving you the second chance that you always wanted we do have to touch and blossom right and again major arcana for some of you the message is clear please detach and please blossom because you have the seed inside of you right the seed of greatness the seed of of you uh, of your life your path where you want to go so um you know the key is right there but the empress and the justice such a beautiful energy right this is it feels like um much um i don't want to say needed but it's yours right a deserved success much deserved success that's exactly the energy here and I do love the blossoming, right? We know that it's, um, that, you know, when when the um, the earth is dry and then um, you can see life, right? Uh, pushing through whatever sand and we can see small plants showing up, you know? Well, this is how it feels actually. And this person, oh boy, oh boy, it is a disaster for them, right? Um, energy is coming their way, the tower and the world. Absolutely an ending, absolutely a situation where it is um, a full explosion, right? In their face. In the same time, the world is happy endings. Um, so somehow that is a sense of relief and a sense of liberation for them. But still, somebody here is rebuilding a world of um, of depression, anxiety, loneliness, changes uh, spinning out of control, right? They are rebuilding slowly. For some of you, they might be embracing this and saying, you know what, now that I hit rock bottom, they move up a little bit. But I'm seeing the Four of Swords at the core of the reading, so I know they are doing right now some type of work, some type of work, some type of detachment and planning but still the worst is yet to come for them right this is energy coming their way so um uh that is <laughs> again they are spinning out of control if that is one message so far and, and they know and they try to um, get a grip of something that's solid you know 
Uh, mutual energy is coming away. Mutual energy is of, um, of this connection. We do have the strength. This is Leo energy. By the way, what, what do we have? And, and the three of wands. Um, well, the universe is saying, please take the lead and take control over your life. And it is the same message for this person of yours. Please take control, take the lead and uh, do something about Again, I, I'm sensing on your side you are doing so good justice and judgment. There is no, um, no other comparable energy of release and, and just, you know, I'm good. I'm good. Finally, the, the scales are balanced and now I can move on. That is this energy of really ending a cycle in a very balanced way. Um, so I'm sensing that we, we need to take the lead on this new beginning of yours and for some of you, you might feel frustrated again the uh, strength is the energy of best behaviors the energy of inner strength and courage taming the you know any reaction that we might have and it's not um, um you know our higher self so um for some of you i'm sensing might be might be that energy right and um and god knows how much control they need in order to stop spinning um, out of control but we are good Aquarius this is I mean the most amazing the most amazing energy you know it comes with homework but when don't we have homework right um, and um, and clarity of the mind but it is a piece of work and it's the universe bringing justice and judgment and it's also your dedicated effort to clarity right let's cut off all the BS and go straight to the point so let's see you and this person, um, what exactly you are guided to do, Aquarius. We have new love. I, I was kind of feeling it, honestly, with the Ace of Swords at the core of the, of the reading and let go, detach and blossom. I'm sensing that the universe is preparing you for some new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So we are guided towards new love and new chapters in love. We do have wedding. This situation involves a marriage. Maybe you need to get a divorce first. That's why judgment and justice. Maybe this person of yours, this new love of yours, they might have to get a divorce or going through one. And this is how you get your energy of justice and judgment. Then we also have chemistry. That is a strong magnetic attraction here. And we have bottom of the deck very soon, right? New love very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yep, we have new beginnings in love, Aquarius. The universe is saying, yep, yeah, no, stop spinning and look at the future. I am sending somebody your way. This is what I, what I hear from. That is a wedding again, but hey. And Aquarius, we do have emotional freedom. We do have emotional freedom. Somebody here needs to say goodbye to a very burdening situation unfair and unjust because again we have justice we have six of pentacles justice and minor arcana and justice in major so kind of like the universe saying you need your emotional freedom you need your balance you need your justice right and karma will kick in no matter what we do have forgiveness emotional freedom and forgiveness it comes right one um, one is interconnected with the other one emotional freedom comes when we forgive the person and we release them when we let go of this and we accept that what was done was unfair um and it was um you know there for both of you whatever whatever happened so and we have luminosity again awakening awareness manifestation staying in the light um and forgiveness is actually an, an, an act of, of um, enlightenment. So, and it, it is you staying in the light and it is you being the luminous one, right? In this connection. Um, and the purpose is always emotional freedom and new love because um, kind of the universe is sending somebody new, um, you want it or not, you know, so. So let's um, see the energies we need to get back into the flow. We do have pride. We have the six of wands twice, so we might have a game of pride here. Six of wands, you have it as the overall energy. They have it with the three of swords. Um, and um, 
the prideful energy with the three of swords um, this of course is the energy of somebody being too hurt and too uh, full of pride uh, to approach to forgive to say something to bring some enlightenment to this situation because we have you confused we have somebody that is no way in the world they can say something about so pride I love myself and I see myself in everyone right so it's all about humility it's all about not labeling people it's all about we are all the same and before we are PhDs and um, and um, high-end professionals we are actually human beings right at the core of it we do have surrendered to the wisdom of your body listen to your body's messages about a person or situation if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious if you are energized and happy move forward we do have integrity you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action so integrity we need to put it back into the flow pride and integrity you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action pride not in a sense of pride but pride in a sense of not judging people right Aquarius, surrender the idea you can fix someone and that's exactly them spiraling down and you probably staying around nurturing and loving. But actually the universe is saying it's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her healing. And bottom of the deck, surrender to rest and sleep. To prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind body and spirit and aquarius this reading screams self-care and healing wisdom of your body intuition integrity emotional freedom and um and new love okay so probably it's not something you want to hear probably it's all about going back but let's allow them to um learn something from the tower moment they are going through right now right they need to learn something so it's time for us to step back and enjoy the show okay um so aquarius this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you i wish you nothing but the best uh please stay safe and come see me next time love you take care